Welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we're going to talk about overlays. You might remember that back when we were doing our two-part annotations, I said that overlays were something a little bit more advanced, and we would do a separate video on that. Well, I had an occasion today working from home that uh, I needed to do an overlay, and it was the perfect example to show you. So we're going to get into that and show you how overlays can be used to not only compare two different drawings, but find the work that uh, you need to find. So let's get to that. I guess the first thing I need to do is explain to you what an overlay is. Uh, think if we could make a one of the plans transparent and then place that over another plan to compare changes between the two plans. Now there may be changes between the exact same plan, in other words, uh, new revisions have come along and you're going to look at the revisions by overlaying it on top of the original and seeing what changes can occur. Or it might be uh, comparing two different plans and seeing, for example, in this one, a demo plan to a finished elevation plan and see what needs to come out uh, between the two or what is the difference between the two. So we have a demo drawing. Uh, it's an existing elevation, a storefront, and um, it's a labeled existing demo west elevation. I've taken, and I'm going to show you what it looks like first, and then I'm going to show you how to do this. I've taken uh, another drawing, which just is existing elevation or finished elevations, and overlaid it onto this plan. And you, you might remember that I told you PlanSwift uses layers, kind of like AutoCAD. So we can layer things and we can turn them off and on. Currently, that layer or that overlay is turned off. I'm going to go over here and this little light bulb that's turned off, I'm going to turn it on and watch what happens. Now, the color that appears is a color that I choose. I can change the color just by going here and saying, oh, I can't see that well enough. Let me have a darker color and it'll change it darker. Or I can't see it that well enough, let me have a lighter color. And it'll change that color. So you've got the ability to manipulate this quite a bit. We're going to go back to the light blue. All right, the light blue is the overlay. That is the finished elevation that's going in. And if we zoom in, we can see, I'm going to turn it off for a second, and you can see these uh, storefront here, that is to be demolished out, all right? Part of my scope. But I noticed there were some openings that didn't look like they fell, new openings that didn't look like they fell inside these storefronts. These storefronts are going to be filled in with new block, and they're going to make, in some cases, new doors or new windows. So after aligning up the existing, or lining up the finished elevations, I discovered that looking at the new windows here and the doors here, there's some discrepancy. Now the door here, I'll zoom in, the blue door, completely lines up in the storefront demolition, meaning I'm not having to cut anything for that wall. Good to go. The other demolition over here is going to be part of the infill, so I'm good to go in there. But look over here on the end. This is a, the blue here you're seeing here is a new window. Part of it is going to be using the existing storefront or existing window, glass and frame when I say storefront. But part of it is goes over past the existing openings and is into the brick and CMU block uh, or the masonry wall. So I am going to have to cut those sections for this to work. So by simply, and I could do one of two ways. I could go ahead and use one of my tools and figure it right up in here because everything's lined up and it would give me a good idea of what I'm taking out or and what I'm going to do uh, for this session. I'm going to get my dimension key out here because I'm curious to see how far past it goes. So I'm going to come out here at the edge of the storefront and I'm going to go about two and a half feet, okay? And then I'm going to click in and go down. I know that the windows are 5'4 because I've been 
picking them up on other pages. So I'm going to type in 54 and go back two and a half or two six. And I'm going to do the same thing over here between the windows and it's about two feet and it should also be five four down and two feet in. All right, I'm going to, anything you do on this drawing, now the overlay is not affected. Anything I do in this view, I'm only doing it on the original plan, not the overlay. Watch what happens when I turn off the overlay. My dimensions I put in, my wall cuts that I'm going to be doing are still there. And that's what I needed to know so I can go ahead and act, add those extra wall cuts in like I had on the original drawings, which were right here. So I wasn't sure whether down in here, this window that I knew was a new window, how much of it was in the existing storefront. So that is the power of an overlay. I didn't have to cut the entire window. I only had to cut two portions of it. By doing that, that gives me an advantage over someone that's not paying attention and goes and puts a price in for cutting the whole wall. This is only two small cuts or two small windows, per se. Uh, be easy to do and a lot, lot less expensive than cutting the entire wall. So that is pretty much how overlays work. Now, once you have an overlay established, if you find you need to resize it, it's easy to do. If you find you need to change the colors, you can do that. Chances are, if you've got two drawings that's the same drawing and just revisions between the two, they'll line up perfectly. You won't have to go use the alignment tool to line up corners, and we're going to show you how to do that. On this one, we're aligning or we're overlaying two different drawings to see the differences between the two drawings. Not the same thing as lining up the same drawing. So there will be an alignment issue, and we're going to show you how to do that. So first, you've got to select the two drawings, and which drawing is going to be the overlay, which is really important. So we're going to go back to our demo elevations we were working on a minute ago. And I'm going to use this as the base drawing, meaning the drawing that I may do takeoffs on after I do the overlay. We're going to go up to our annotations group and select overlay. And now you have two choices, standard overlay and comparative overlay. The standard overlay is really for using against drawings that are not the same. In other words, you're really comparing one drawing to another. They're not the same drawings, but we're doing like we're doing here. We're comparing two different versions of a drawing. In other words, of one with existing elevations and one with finished elevations. So they're going to have different stuff on it. Versus the comparative overlay, which you're comparing two versions of the same page after revisions are made, and that tool will actually show you just the revisions. Let's try it. it assumes everything's going to line up, and it's just showing you what's been added or subtracted from the drawing. You do it a couple times, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. We're going to use the standard overlay. And we're going to click Next. And it's going to ask us two things. Um, basically, which drawing we're going to use. And this one we're in existing, so we're going to go to um, Exterior Elevations, A201, and puts the name up there. And then we can select the color before it does this. So if we don't like the blue, we can select another color, and we just hit Finish. You'll hear a beep, usually it's a computer, and it's basically asking you if you want to align the overlay. Most times when you do a standard overlay, you should answer yes. It won't be in alignment. There is an occasion where it will be. Most times it will not. So we're going to answer yes. Before you do anything, what you're doing here is you are lining up corners. So it can actually overlay one on top of the other. The blue is the transparent. The black is the original plan. So it's asking you step one of four. Click first alignment point on overlay. So find a corner. 
Doesn't matter. Any corner in the drawing can be actually a building corner, can be a drawing corner, something that you can line up and know that that corner is perfect. So we see uh, the corners of this building here, one in black and one in blue. The blue being the overlay, that's the one we're going to line up. So we get in real tight, we'll click on that corner, and once we click once, we see that the whole drawing, the overlay is moving around. So we're going to come in here and by zooming and using our mouse, we're going to line that up perfectly and then click. So even though it's a four step, you're really only lining up two corners. Step one, moving it. Step two, clicking it or locking it in. Then you want to go as far as you can away from that diagonally and pick another corner. So being I picked the top of the building left, I'm going to pick the bottom of the building right. Now it looks like it's already lined up, but we can still, we can click on it and we can move around and we can say, okay, that looks good. We're going to just mess with that a little bit and good. Done. You have aligned your overlay, one on top of the other, just like I showed you when we started this video. And you can see everything lines up. There's the blue is the new window, the black is the existing elevations, and this is showing me what I'm going to have to take out and what is already there. That's how you create an overlay. And just like a page drawing or a takeoff item, you can come over here and you can actually see I've got two overlays now. I can come on this one, uh, click on this one, and I can hit delete uh, up here on the X under pages bookmarks or just right click on it. I usually just right click on it. So I know I'm on the right one and I say delete. And it says, are you sure you want to delete all the selected objects? And I say yes. That is pretty much it on overlays. It will take some practice for you to align them, and sometimes you get them wrong. That happens to me all the time. I'll get an, an alignment wrong. I can just go in there and tell it to realign it. I can go over here and click once on with the left mouse button, and then I can say right, and I can say align overlay and redo the alignment. Or if I think it's just not good, I delete it and start over. Align it again. You're not deleting any real pages. You're just deleting a copy of the page. So, you got any questions, naturally let us know on our channel or our Facebook page, and we'll try to answer them and uh, show you solutions that uh, make PlanSwift your everyday estimating tool. See you next time.